good. It's good. It's good. Yeah. What, what happened? I don't, it wasn't really never injured. It was just a little, uh, just, I guess, sore. But it's all gone. It was all going to Georgia Tech game. Oh, so you felt good against yeah, Georgia Tech? You, you felt the same as you felt the weeks before that? Yes, sir. Okay, so did it disappoint you at all that maybe the touches weren't there Thursday night, or did it didn't really matter? Not at all. I mean, we won, so that's all we could ask for at the end of the day. Okay. You, you knew coming in, right? I and mean, the game plan against yeah, yeah, Georgia sir. Was, was a, Yes, sir. So yes, it wasn't sir. much of a surprise to you. No, sir. Frank, Coach Beamer said on Monday, though, that he thinks you guys are now a better passing team yes, than running sir. team. Do you think that's true? I mean, different games present different things, and uh, I feel whenever you have an offense that that can really present both both aspects of the game, this is is better for the offense, and it, it opens up more more space and more breathing room for Logan. For uh, a guy on the offense, when you know Logan played with that strained abdomen and then the sprained foot, and, um, what does that do as a teammate to, to see your quarterback kind of play through that stuff? I mean, I know Logan. Logan is a soldier, and. Uh, I mean, he does it, and he went out there and had a stellar performance. So uh, I'm just hoping that he can stay healthy for the rest of the season, and I know he will. What um, What do you think the game plan this week, I mean, is it going to be another Logan in the passing game, or are you looking forward to more running game involved? I mean, I'm not even sure. We really ain't really uh, said it yet, but uh, whatever it is, I'm sure we'll go out and execute it. Do you feel like you can be a big help to the passing game, knowing that right now it's probably a bit further along than the running game? Oh, most definitely. Uh, I feel whether it's running or passing, I have responsibilities, and uh, each week I just try to go out there and improve on them and just do it to my best. Let me ask you about your brothers. I know that uh, you, you keep in close contact with them. Terrell's committed here. Tremaine, uh, I cover those guys. They're, he's a monster. Do, do you talk to them at all? I mean, I do. How does, how does what you're doing affect what they're doing? Every day uh, I'm thinking I'm a role model to them, and I just try to build my P's and Q's at all times and try to be a positive role model. And uh, I just hope they can just finish out their high school career healthy and just continue to get better and just continue to work on their game. Uh, didn't your brother switch positions like mid-game the other night? I think he switched to running back middle of the game or something like that. Right? They'll tell him what they're doing down there. I, I think he did, though. I think he did end up getting a tailback, but I mean... Uh, at our school, we uh, different guys play different positions all the time, so it's kind of hard to just limit a guy to one position. Well, the reason I ask that is because it seems like you being a coach's son, like the, the guys that, that grew up playing for their dad, there's just an added mental advantage there that maybe other guys don't have. Do you notice that? Not really. I, no? I ain't never really stopped. I can notice that. Really? Okay, cool. Well, thank you, man.